Welcome, Captains. I'm Hale Bosey, and welcome to Starfleet Academy Online. And today, uh, we are going to be talking about the minimap interface and how to navigate in Star Trek Online using that. Okay, in today's video, we're going to be doing a, uh, a navigational sort of uh, video so that we can help people learn how to navigate in Star Trek Online. And today with me, I have a good friend of mine, a longtime Star Trek Online player, an expert in the game. And his name is Lant. Lant, why don't you say hi to everyone? Hey guys, how's it going? So today, uh, it's really great to have Lant with us today because he's going to help kind of explain some of the intricacies of the galaxy map and the area map and the system list, uh, which is accessible two ways, either through the M button on your keyboard or the uh, button on the upper right hand side of your mini map. Lant, why don't you tell us a little bit about those? Yeah, so if you open up uh, your map, uh, first thing you'll see is actually your area map so what that is is it will show you the map of the current system you're in uh, obviously you can scale out scale in move it around that's pretty self-explanatory if you go into the next one uh, the galaxy map that is actually the available uh, areas you can go to within the game obviously the different quadrants alpha beta gamma delta etc uh, but the really useful thing for newer players is actually the system list great thing about this is say for example you've got a mission uh, you know what it's called you know where to go but you don't know where it is well on the system list uh, you can use the drop down uh, type it in and press enter and then when you double click on it the ship will automatically navigate to that system just a great little tip for beginning players who need to get around Ozzy. wow that's a great tip, Lant. Thank you for, for showing us that. That's going to be a really great way to show people how to navigate uh, from place to place, mission to mission. Uh, the things that I want to talk to you about today, though, are going to be a couple of things. In relation to the maps that Lant was talking about, I'd like to show you that the area map is really important in two different uh, places. One, when you're going to the area map, you'll notice that the same little uh, fan-looking um, I guess icon hovers over an arrow. The arrow represents your ship and the direction that it's facing. And so that's where it's pointed to. And the actual uh, fan around it, if you'll notice as I change the camera view, it too changes because it represents the direction in which the camera is looking. That's going to be a really important tip in showing you how to navigate missions and sector space uh, and getting from the next point to the next point. One of the next things I want to talk to you about, though, is this actual transwarp uh, feature right here. And so what's cool about that is that that uh, the transwarp is going to be a really cool sort of way and faster way for you to get around when you want to go for, to two places that might be distant apart, like for example the Soul System and jumping straight to Deep Space Nine. Well, they're you know quadrants away from each other, and so if sector space that would take you a little while to get there. If you just click on any of these destinations, and you'll get more of them as you progress in the game. Um, you can go to one that I use all the time, which is the Soul System, and if you click on that, it'll automatically transwarp you right back from wherever you are in the galaxy to the Earth space dock, and that's a fantastic resource to have. We'll also show you another trick later on in the series on how to do that without using a transwarp, but we'll get to that. For the sake of uh, time, though, I want to make sure that we also cover the Depart System button because that is also going to be a really important button uh, that's going to help you navigate not only in missions, but you know on planet to planet as well. So when you're on a mission and you're on a or you're on a planet or you're on a space station or something like, or you even if you're just in a, a, a space in local space in a star system, you that button w is going to allow you to just instantly leave and go directly to sector space again. So that's how you're going to travel back and forth between those um, in order to get from place to place, mission to mission. But it's important to remember that uh, if let's say you're in the middle of a mission and you're like oh shucks I got to go get something or I can't really continue right now because I got to go to you know work or something like that hey that happens so go ahead and you can uh, use this button 
to sort of warp you out or transport you away and it'll actually save your progress um, in checkpoints for that mission. So you'll just uh, go back to the to the last checkpoint you were in when you were uh, running that mission, which is a really good and fun trick uh, to be able to not lose some progress. So that's uh, pretty much what we have, I think, for you today when it comes to the basic navigation. Now, one slightly more advanced way, uh, and and I think good excellent tip for people to know about uh, is the options menu uh, which you can reach by pressing this little gear wheel to the right of the mini map so if you look at that you click that it'll take you to the uh, options menu there's this little tab up top called keybinds and keybinds is going to be really important because when you're do running keybinds this will help you set your controls to exactly the way that you want it whatever configuration is comfortable for you whether you use your mouse or your keyboard doesn't matter it's very very customizable and there are a lot of different options similar to how they are in most other MMOs so a lot to offer here um, a lot to explore check that out see what what combination of things works best for you so once again we want to thank Lant for his time and I want to thank you for tuning into this video make sure you give it a thumbs up or subscribe to the channel if you want more great content like this if you liked it great just help out the channel it, it does so much for us and next time uh, we'll have more incredible tips for you to graduate in Star Trek Online. Legends never die when the world is calling you can you hear them screaming out your name legends never die